Hey everyone, it's Keith here. I don't make too many videos, and I probably won't start. As you can tell, my production quality is not the same as uh, Eli's or someone like that, but I've just been working on a really cool lick here, and I don't know, I just felt like I, I wanted to, to share it, not only to hopefully do y'all a favor, but also to spread the word about... Um, it's from this banjo player named Lloyd Douglas, who is a bit under the radar, but uh, he's one of these Michigan superheroes. A lot more people than people in Michigan know about him, but um, specifically there's this lick on a Detour album. Detour is another Michigan band, and the song is I'm Too Blue to Have... Too Blue to Have the Blues is the name of it, and basically it's just a really cool G to C lick. Uh, and here it is. Hopefully you can, hopefully you can hear it. I'm too blue to have the blues. Don't wanna sing so that's it. I just love that lick and decided to, to learn it. So here, so here it is. Here's, uh, me playing it. The song's in B. So I'm going to play it with my capo on the fourth fret. So uh, if you want to play along, you'll have to you have to clamp capo on four there. Uh, but here it is. So basically, it's two whole measures of um, you know the one chord, the G or the B in this case, and then uh, resolving to the four. And here's how it, here's how it goes. Uh, the, the basis of it is going to be this kind of like an F shape, but just the top two strings. So index on the first fret of the B string, pinky on the third fret of the first string. So the first thing you do is the downbeat is a open third, and then you slide that two frets. So you go from first and third to third and fifth. And that's the open fourth string. So you're sliding and then into a backward roll. And now you move that same shape up three more frets and do another backward roll. So, so far we have. And now you kind of go back down, three frets back down. So, so far. And here's where it gets a little trickier. You're actually going to double thumb the third string at that point. And now you go to, you're, you're, you're still in this index pinky configuration, but you're going to add your middle finger to that second fret and do a pull off. And then your ring finger goes down to this third fret. So you're going to still keep your index and your pinky where they have been. They're going to stay there the whole time, but you're going to add some other fingers. So once you do that, pull off to that third fret, you play up the forward roll. Got it so far? Rewind if you don't. Uh, and then you're going to put a little grease on the, uh, on the third fret there. To the open third string and then you follow it up on the fourth string with third fret fourth fret and then this part's a little tricky um open third second on fourth first on third those sound like weird notes right now but if you play it in context you'll hear how it connects to what comes after it so let's just take that last part where you start with the so you 
you got it so far. And then it's just a forward roll from the second fret, hammer on to the third. And then resolve on your four chord, your C shape. So that whole last little snippet Did you get that? Hopefully. So here, here's the whole thing back together. I'll do it real slow and then uh, speed it up a bit. It really sounds cooler when you have it up to speed. So that's the whole thing. There you have it. Check out Lloyd Douglas, a fantastic banjo player from Michigan. Very underrated guy, but uh, he's one of my favorites. So there you go.